guys of AnyFightHype.com, we're in Sheffield here for Kel Brook's public workout. Ed, how are we? Very well, very yeah. well. Had a nice drive up to Sheffield this morning. Yeah, the sun was, sun was shining, yeah. yeah. Been to see AJ uh, Spa this morning and now over here. Yeah. Good turnout, can't wait for March the 3rd. Really big show, big night of boxing on Sky. Yeah. Obviously with Brooke, Rabchenko and then Wilder yeah. Ortiz as well, so yeah. big night. We'll come to Wilder shortly. Yeah. Uh, Kel Brook obviously has been out of the ring two years with those horrific injuries that he's sustained. Is that Adam? No, not two years. That's Amir Khan. That's Amir Khan, sorry. Um, <laughs> Yeah. A year? No, no, no. Uh, ten months. Ten months. Nine, nine months. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Keep going. You get there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, he's been out obviously yeah. through that injury. He's back against Rabchenko, who is not a walkover. No, it's a tough fight. And at this stage, I'm starting to think maybe we should have just taken a slightly easier touch. But I think Kel wants to go out and make a statement. I think he wants to show. It's important for us all to know where he's at yeah. in terms of his timing, in terms of his heart in terms of his health, and he wants to be at world level because he knows if he don't beat Rabchenko, he's not gonna beat, especially the guys at 154 pounds yeah. at the very top. Yeah. And um, it's, a, it's a really good fight. Rabchenko's gonna come full of energy, full of commitment, full of heart, he can punch. Um, it's a tough, tough fight coming off the back of those two defeats. Mm. Dominic Ingle, when I spoke to him, he said it really helped having someone like Billy Joe in camp. He's yeah. very vibrant, uh, he's very loud, very energetic. He's actually still, well, he's the world champion at the moment. So mm. when, when Kel came back from his injury, Kel was saw the atmosphere that Billy was bringing. He, he said he's never seen this side of Kel before where he's back up for it again. Mm. No, I think basically what happens with a lot of fighters are when they're demotivated, you know, they're not going to perform. We talked about Billy Joe, you know, we talked about his performance in Scotland it was abysmal because he, he, he had no interest mm. and it's like any job that you do if you don't enjoy it if you don't love it you're not mm. going to perform mm. I think now when you're in a great gym and you, you've got the, the right people around you it's fun to train there everyone's trying to achieve the same thing so mm. Kel Brook has definitely got the bit between his teeth the Spence defeat hit him hard because it was his world title and it was in his backyard and he got criticism mm. and I think that really affected him and there were times where I wasn't sure whether he would fight again mm. um, but it's taken him the time to realize boxing's what he wants boxing's what he loves and he has a god-given talent mm. in this sport mm. and I don't believe we've seen the best of Kelbrook I think there's so much more to come and it's been a frustrating journey you know injuries and you know a little bit of lack of desire sometimes outside of the ring have made it a stop-start career and, and, and not really given him the fluidity that he should have had mm. but his head screwed on now he wants it more than ever and it's not too late I believe he can go on and rule at 154 pounds obviously that fight and we're gonna talk about it again as the American fight firstly the, e the easiest thing that you've done to make that fight is sign American yeah. obviously but in terms of future splits, etc., have you looked at, for example, Kel's absence, Amir's absence? How well has the tickets gone for Kel's yeah. fight on March, in March, yeah. and then Amir's fight? Which is both six both quite similar. I mean, uh, we've sold, I don't know, probably 6,000 for Kel already. We've sold 7,000 for Amir Khan. Both probably going to set out. The Khan one definitely will. Kel will be close. Um, slightly bigger arena in Sheffield. Uh, Response has been great on either side. Kel's a former world champion, Amir's a former world champion. Both coming off defeats. Amir's probably got the bigger profile than Kel Brook. Um, Kel's probably in a slightly tougher fight than Amir Khan, but both tough fights coming off you know, injuries and, and defeats. So, I don't know, I mean, it's not, we didn't sign Amir Khan to make the Kel Brook fight. What we knew was that is a fight that should happen in 2018. And under the same umbrella, should be a lot easier to make mm. so but my remit for Amir Khan is a couple of fights and then make the biggest fight possible same with Kel Brook both guys want to be really active Kel particularly you know I'm looking for him hopefully he can get a great performance against um, Rabchenko and then get straight back in the gym and get out again before the summer mm. because when Kel Brook is active and when he's enjoying himself that's when he's that's when he's well, in great form mm. it's when he goes off and has a couple of months off and enjoys himself and eats too much all the work's got to be done again but I, you know, he still talks about making 147 pounds mm. trust me I saw what he had to do to make 147 against Errol Spence and I believe he's going to carry a lot more power at 154 mm. so ideally obviously Amir Khan being a three fight deal and the option to obviously go further 
the group fight potentially to be number Khan's five. third, number three. Yeah, I mean, I Where think... Where would that be held, though? In the, anywhere in the UK. But I mean, in terms of, that would be probably towards the end of the year? Yeah, it'd be probably December time, but, you know, obviously it's bigger than a Manchester Arena or O2, but, you know... Is it a Cardiff again? Yeah, maybe, but if we got the fight made, you know... Let's just get it made first. Mm. We'll worry about the venues later. But there's big fights for Amir. There's big fights for Kel. You know, I quite like the Broner fight for Amir Khan as well. I think that's a good fight. Um, and for Kel, there's world championship fights at 154 pounds. Mm. They're not high profile fights in terms of the champions, but Kel wants to be a two weight world champion. And, mm. you know, to do that, obviously, you have to go through a champ. Oh, he's, look, Dom's on. see but the key for both those guys is Kel get the win on March 3rd and then um, Amir get the win on April 21.